All right. Fantastic. I don't know what episode we're on. <laughs> I'm so like 82 or something like that. Something. Something. I don't something. know either. I think it's 82. I'm, Maybe. We're just sitting here for like an hour. I'm looking at everything else. And I don't know what that is. I think it's 82, right? Um, 80 so. something. 80 something. I feel like Dave on Trash to Cash because he never knows what it is. I'm Mo87 official. True. Hello. <laughs> Hi, and I'm Amy Beach Fire Pete. How are you? Welcome back. <laughs> How are you doing, Mo? I'm okay. I'm like, yeah. my brain isn't working on this morning. I'm still, I got to finish this coffee. <laughs> it my is um, episode 82. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yay. Yeah. That's right. So we're we're good we're good to go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> totally good to go. Mm. Yeah. So it was a nice long weekend. It's a, we I had know. a nice long happy, weekend. Happy Happy um Labor what is it? Was it Labor Day, post, right? Yeah, post Labor Day now. No, it's summer's yeah. over. I always <laughs> wah, Yeah, wah. I always get Labor Day and Memorial Day um mixed up. Yeah, because, so you know, I. it's they flank the they flank the uh -huh. summer, you know? Right. I always yeah. get them confused. I I'll I do the same thing. My um mm -hmm. I'll have to think about it. But my dad so my dad's birthday was was my was yes well no, not yesterday, because today's Wednesday. It was Monday. That's so he's like a Labor Day baby. You know, it's not always Labor Day, but that's the only thing yeah. that I like makes me remember because I do want to always say Memorial Day again. But you know, that's how yeah. it is. It is, yeah. But and there were um, I was surprised there were um garage sales and stuff. Normally, like the holiday yeah. weekends, mm -hmm. there's not that many. But yeah, I did. There wasn't uh, really. I went you out. Went out. It, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was like it was pretty good too. It was. It oh, reminded awesome. me of the spring sales. Nice. Like, uh, you know, like the good stuff that people had been collecting over the winter. Right. Yeah. yeah. Nice. It was good. I was, uh, I was happy. There was a, and that's I good. even found stuff at like 11 o'clock in the afternoon or oh, wow. in the morning, 11 o'clock. Probably because nobody's like, you know, because people were doing other stuff because it's the holiday. I mean, I know I looked up, yeah. but there wasn't a lot going on. There was like sporadic um sales like garage sales but most of them were like downstate and i'm not driving down there um but yeah, yeah. that's awesome see so other people were having their barbecues and stuff and you were um you know getting all the good stuff the deals. Mm -hmm. i got a i got a bunch of like military stuff like military surplus stuff oh, okay yeah which mm -hmm. that's awesome is great mm -hmm. i know we got like these like trigger uh mittens they're they're like canvas mittens for the right. military but they have like an extra it's like the mitten is you know for these three fingers and, and then, then there's you another have a separate, trigger finger mm -hmm. oh cool yeah they're like there's like wool it's inserts insane. and then for that and then we got some snowshoes yeah that thing yeah <laughs> um some snowshoes that were like military mm -hmm. issued yeah and um shoot I, I already listed them so I kind of forgot uh, some other military stuff from that sale and then at the 11 o'clock sale I picked up a tent it's a military issued tent and mm -hmm. they go for over two hundred dollars and it was nice. in pris pristine shape it's like this it's called a light fighter but anyway I paid five bucks for it <laughs> five bucks wow. I couldn't believe it was still there and is then it a big, I found big tent or like a single person as a small like how? I mean, I'm sure. It's yeah, it's a one quality. man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a one nice. man, but it's kind of like long and skinny, long and skinny. Just, tent, yeah. But it's like dome. <laughs> Just yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> like it could have belonged to like a Navy SEAL or something like that, you know? Because we right. find a, there's mm -hmm. you know there's mm -hmm. a lot of Navy SEALs around here. Yeah. And then I found a hatchet. I wish that. I already sold it, by the way. That's how great it was. Oh, yeah, it, yeah. It was I like this. 
it was probably like less than a foot tall and yeah, it was you an put your hand next to it. go look for her real on mm-hmm. it <laughs> yeah that was oh, like yeah, a real right. vintage L.O. bean label right yes yeah totally and there were none listed and it had uh it was just like a, it was called like a salesman sample. So it was so tiny, but it was, it was sharp and it was in good shape other than mm-hmm. somebody had etched um, or engraved etched. I'm not sure. Uh, their name. And then the boy scout troop, they were like a scout master. So they had oh, all okay, that. Yeah. And, it, uh-huh. was, it, That's and cool. it said like 1957 to 58 and like 1968 to 69 or something like that. So mm-hmm. not that that, not that it was that old, but that was when that person, I guess, was in, in the trip. Right. But yeah, I paid, you used to. paid $3 for that, too. Wow. And it sold overnight for, I think, 150 No. Let me see. I got it right here. It sold for $154.88 plus shipping overnight. Nice. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. I know. That's so I, cool. I that, you find that. that is awesome. Yeah. And I found found some Lamax stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Like uh, Spooky Town. I found like new old stock um, figures. Yeah. I found like four, four of those. So that's over a hundred bucks. I paid a dollar fifty a piece for those. Um, it was just great. Like it was just great. Yeah. I couldn't. That's nice. You know, those are the good days. Mm-hmm. Those are the good days. That's awesome. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Did you what kind of stuff did you were your sales like since there was a four day um three day weekend? They're okay for me. So over mm-hmm. the two days, because I everything I sold through Friday I shipped like by oh, Friday. Uh-huh. I didn't really did I sell anything Monday? Monday was kind of a slow day. Yeah, it was for me you're, too. You're, you're LL, um, I, I most of the stuff I sold it was like Sunday. Sunday was like I, I, you know, this reminds me of something I want to talk about. Like part, like I am, I am still part time. Like I am still part time. I have not gotten my stuff up to full time, but um, I uh, lost my train of thought. Oh, I was. It made me think of that because they, on I did watch last week's trash cat or was it Kevin or last week's trash to cash? Somebody was talking about part part time eBay resellers and are there any anymore? And and you know some people were saying oh that nobody's part time anymore, but I I mean I am. <laughs> I mean, you know, uh-huh. do I? You know, we can live without an in- second income, but you know, uh-huh. it's like yeah. I would like to get full time income, but anyway, what I sell? Oh, the bit my big sale was um. I sold some pottery, I sold some, oh, signed Bermuda print that was free because my mom had it, like a like she never framed it. Like they went years and years ago to Bermuda on a cruise with my aunt and uncle, and um, I sold this. One of those Bradford Exchange things. So I like selling. I always pick up religious stuff. So this oh, is. Oh, okay. She's kind of like mosaic nice. looking, you know. And she had yeah. a little candle with her. I got her at the thrift store. I want to say I think I paid nine ninety nine for her. So and she sold for what uh-huh. sixty. And she sold for sixty seven thirty eight. So she was all of her. I think I had her. For seventy four, I had her at or seventy five, so I ten percent off. Yeah, um, that was my. That was sale. nice. The yeah. details look nice on her too. Yeah, she was like she had her like little Bradford paperwork. You know, they come with like paperwork signed stuff because she was like numbered on the bottom. Yeah. Um, she just didn't have her original box, so I yeah boxed her up nice. She wasn't. Yeah, that's nice. She's like um, she's like. She wasn't real. She wasn't porcelain or anything. It's like a like a resin, but her detail was mm-hmm. really nice. You know what I mean? So yeah. But I like getting religious stuff because I feel like it always sells <laughs> sells well for me, and I find a lot of it 
find a lot of it around here. I don't. So, like, you yeah. find military and <laughs> religious stuff, and I am fine with selling it. So that was my that was my big big sale. Yeah, that's good. That's a good one. Yeah. The LL, your LL yeah, Bean I, sale made me think of I had <laughs> I didn't answer them because I just saw it. I have a pair of LL Bean um like duck shoes. They're like not huh? the boots. They're like the shoes, but a little bit higher than just the. Anyway, I have them for sale. I had the size on there and everything. I'm... They're like, can you measure the toe box? I'm like, mm, no. And I'm like, they asked me this over the weekend. I'm like, it's a duck shoe. Like, first of all, I can't like measure the inside of it, and the outside of it's going to mean nothing to you. They're like, LL Bean shoes run, blah blah blah. I'm like, no, they don't. They run true to size. I I have duck boots, nine and a half. They were, you know, tens or whatever they fit. But anyway, uh, it's always, it's usually the low dollar amounts because those aren't a low dollar. <laughs> they're, you know, they're kind of right. nice, they're in nice condition. Exactly. But I'm like, it was like Saturday. I'm looking at them like I am not digging them out <laughs> and I'm measuring the outside. Like, you know what duck shoes look like. Like, how is that going to help you see if your big old fat foot's going to fit in there? No offense. Right. And, <laughs> and if she said LL help. Bean shoes run blah, 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 then she should mm -hmm. already know that. Yeah. Whether they're going to fit or not. You know Right. I mean? Yeah. So, yeah, they're, they're, they're like men's like tens or something. I, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I, I have free returns. I wasn't going to tell them that, but, you know. <laughs> oh yeah be like, oh, try them on and send them back yeah no way okay. no but i made me think of it i was like i I wasn't even home and it was like that message came across and i'm like mm. well first of all i'm not yeah. home second of all like how do i even measure the outside of the duck shoe it's like you know the bottom's all ripply and it has like it's extra you yeah. know it has extra stuff on the outside people are yeah. people are crazy <laughs> exactly and then they don't even want to buy them the people that ask well, all the questions don't end up buying it exactly exactly the i have mm -hmm. i don't think i can't even think of a sale where somebody was asking me for measurements in this night where they bought it <laughs> right yeah i i can only think of like a couple and then i think <laughs> the last one i had they they returned it so because they said they just didn't like the way it fit or something. I don't know. Oh, I know. You don't like, don't get your shipping back. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, they didn't. I, I mean, I don't even know how much they... It's always like the lower priced stuff, too. You know? Yeah. yeah. I, I, the clothes that are like, you know, that I'm trying to like get rid of, they're like, you know, less than $15 because I'm trying to uh -huh. just push them out the door. Right. Those are the ones that always get the returns. But I can sell a two hundred dollar cardigan. I don't get any uh, <laughs> right. a single peep. A single peep from exactly. the people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. Oh, I also sold a Ooh. Ralph Lauren bed mm -hmm. skirt. Like it, it was like st it was still new in the yeah. little package with the little zipper mm -hmm. package. Yeah, I got it in one of my um, totes, one of my Goodwill auction totes. Uh huh. Nice. So I probably paid five dollars for it, and it sold for eighty four eighty eight. I couldn't believe it. I wow. probably had it for like six months, but uh -huh. it's. I didn't. I did. I just thought bed skirts. I. I mean, I don't know. I don't use a bed skirt, and I always just think, yeah, I don't who know. uses a bed skirt? But I had one. I, I had one years and years ago. I mean, I don't have one now, but, you know, back in the mm -hmm. day. Well, that, you know, who, um, Lavender Clothesline, he goes to, like, the outlet and buys that stuff on clearance and sells it. I'm like, I got to get to that outlet before her. Those Lancaster oh, outlets. Oh, because you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to steal we them from her. But, um, but, yeah, you no, have outlets down there, <laughs> right? You probably yeah, have them down there, do. right? Yeah. yeah. She, it's in my city, I watched, too. Uh-huh. I have, well, there's outlets down at the beach from me, and then there's outlets in Lancaster. I mean, it's it's a, you know, that's like a, 
you know that's a that's a day trip like you go there you're that's what you're doing but um oh okay you know i'm not i can't like i'm not like popping in you know for a minute because <laughs> it's down the street but you could yeah she there was a video i watched it wasn't too long ago it was this summer I, but I don't know if I was watching an older video, but she went in and she went back to like the clearance stuff and she just pulled out and like, she, you know, she'll scan it and look because that stuff's kind of easy to store. It's already wrapped up. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. even if it takes a while, but she does that, she does that a lot. I'm like, I mean, I'm always looking for like sheet sets like that. I don't find them a lot, but, um, mm -hmm. but Ralph Lauren, that stuff. I always see people selling it, you know, in videos and yeah. Instagrams and stuff. I'll be on the lookout for this Ralph yeah. Lauren bed bed set or you know, king sheets, king pillowcases. Yeah. yeah, in the um the duvet covers, I've sold mm -hmm. quite a few of like the yeah. duvet covers, and mm -hmm. um, I always find uh Ralph Lauren, Pottery Barn, and that's what uh, that's like what it was. She was at the Pottery Barn outlet. That's where she was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah that's just, good. They, Those they are good sell. ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They always sell pretty good, too. I even had... It was a Pottery Barn one. It was a king size, and it was such a nice pattern. Um, and mm -hmm. you know how the um, duvet covers have the buttons on the bottom to, like, you yeah. know, to close mm -hmm. in your comforter? Well, mm -hmm. the, it was ripped. Uh, it had a rip. It was probably like yeah. a four inch rip. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I still bought it and mm -hmm. I just took good pictures of it and yeah. it's still sold. It's still sold for like a hundred and something dollars because you know, fix, fix that up mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you never see it anyway because you just turn it. You yeah, know. exactly. Exactly. But you're get, they're getting a, stuff it you're, down. You're making money and they're getting a deal. <laughs> You know, yeah. they've got a, a yep. hundred dollars worth of thing for a deal. You know, that's awesome. Uh -huh. Yeah, Pottery oh. Pottery Barn. That was the outlet she was at. Yeah, and the other ones I always find, which is so weird, it's from the '90s. It's like this vintage pattern. I I feel like I always see it because I had it as a kid. Mm -hmm. It is. It's like called like not Matrix, but like Matt matrex or something like that and it's this really funky like uh, just like a total 80s look well I, I didn't have it in the 80s it was in the 90s but they're always uh -huh. like um like this geometric boho -y design and they're like right they're like I bright can, pastel colors mm -hmm. i can imagine yeah, I like i have that too. yeah mm -hmm. you know what is i see people fine but I never, I've never found it, but I had it when I was a kid in the eight, this was eighties, was those, my sister and I, we got, it's when we still lived in an old house and we shared a room. Um, they were rainbow, rainbow sheets, rainbow quilts and stuff. Um, I think the brand um, was Wamsada, that, that brand. But I've yeah, seen yeah, people yeah. sell them and they go for a pretty penny. I was like, dang. I mean, we had like twin beds, so it was just a, it was twin. I don't, does anybody have twin beds anymore? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess some, yeah. some people do. <laughs> My kid had a twin bed until probably like three years ago. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. and now he's got a, a queen. I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a queen. But yeah, mine. I had a twin all the way until oh, I moved yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, so did I. But my kid has a he has a full. I guess you know we bought one of those cribs that turns into a bed, and we had got a full mattress. So. Yeah. Otherwise, I think you'd have to have like one of those extra long twins, you know, for like tall. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Because yeah. I, I asked my husband that because he and his he and his brother shared room and they're tall and um I know they had at for they had bump beds for a while, like until he when he went to college, basically he was he had to sleep on the couch when he came out because his brother got they got rid of the bunk beds. But um uh -huh. 
I was like, did you guys hang off? Like they weren't extra long. Cause you know, when you go, when you go to college, um, at least where I went, I think most places they are, they're a little longer. Those, the dorm beds, they're a little longer huh? for taller people. So you have to buy, yeah. like I couldn't use my sheets from home on that. You had gotcha. to buy the long ones. Yeah. Uh-huh. Because huh. the feet hang off. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, that's funny. M- my feet hang off. Well, my feet don't hang off the bed, but I sleep low <laughs> well, you're, on yeah, my okay, bed. So you're, you're at the edge. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Because we have like a pillow, like a body pillow that stays at the top of the bed. You know, uh-huh. I don't like to okay. sleep on it. But then I yeah. have a feather pillow. Mm-hmm. And then sometimes the feller pillow is too bulky, so then I like to scoot down. So I'm scooting down so much that my feet hang off. That's like, where are you? You're down. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but you know where you can get some good long beds? Probably IKEA, right, Mo? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And you can get them used. <laughs> that was my lead-in. My my transition. <laughs> Look at us being yeah. fancy. Look at us being fancy. If you hadn't noticed, or if you weren't in our live on Monday. <laughs> so, um, so IKEA, I found this one. IKEA launches new mark online for secondhand furniture. Um, yeah. Which I think is pretty cool. So like, you can list your old IKEA stuff on IKEA, right? I guess. It says platform to rival yeah, like eBay, own. Facebook Marketplace. Hmm. Yeah, that's what I think too. I, yeah. That's what I feel like. It's like a Facebook Marketplace, but strictly IKEA, because it's right. so popular. Some people want that old that the old style of things. Yes. You yeah. Know, that stuff they don't make that's anymore or whatever. stuff that they don't make. Um. Yes. I was gonna say, and it also says like, you know, because you because it's IKEA, like if you, I guess you put the name in, you know, they're weird ass names, and um, uh-huh. so they're like, you know, they have like the whole AI thing going on. It's gonna like you don't have to measure anything. So we were talking oh, about yeah. like people want weird measurements, you know, you don't have to measure anything because mm-hmm. IKEA already has all that information. So I wish right. they had this. <laughs> so a few years back, we had, um, you remember, you know, the old desktop top computers with the big, you know, you had the big screen, you know, the big like TV tube TV screens, monitors. you know, they're, they're fat, you oh, know, yeah, 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 yeah. And you had the tower and you had CDs that you put in to run programs. <laughs> Yeah. So we had we had a big IKEA desk from we bought it after we bought our f- first computer in like 1995. We had a uh-huh. big old IKEA desk. That thing. So I took it out to put it outside. I took it apart when we got rid of it finally. That thing was still so I'm going to say we bought it probably about 1995. We got rid of it a few years ago. It was still uh-huh. it had it had marks on the top from like just ink and do you know what I mean like because so it was like it was a big shelf like that fit your monitor in do you know what I mean it had like a shelf on top and then it had next Uh to it yeah it had a little door for all your cds (laughs) oh my gosh (laughs) for all your cd-roms that you had to you know all your your aol and your windows (laughs) oh my gosh mo yeah, and then it had um, it had drawers. It had like a an extension part, so you could buy just that part. But we then bought the second part of it that had, and we still had the shelf. So in old videos, where I was in the before I moved into a different room, there was shelf behind me, and that was mm-hmm. the shelf shelf that matched it. It was the same color, which also <laughs> in an episode of Friends when at the very beginning of Friends when uh. Ross gets his own apartment because he's so forced. They're putting together that shelf. Anyway, <laughs> I'm like that's oh, really? my shelf. 
Yes. Oh I don't God, remember what so it was funny. called. But I think it's like, because, you know, if you get decent pieces from Ikea, they last, you know, they last. Yeah. I know I make fun uh-huh. of it because you have to put it together with your, um, with that, your Allen wrench. Little Allen key. I, I, yeah. Every piece of Ikea I've had has lasted. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. I, I still I have, so I still that have would some. Be, uh... I know you should have put it on uh, IKEA's. I, they didn't have it. Facebook Marketplace. When I, was, <laughs> when I was getting rid of it. What is it called? What is it called? I don't know if you're sharing the. Um, oh, let me. Um, yeah, I'm, sh- oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sharing. Um, I well, second chance corner. It says second help give corner, these. If you go just if you Google um, IKEA. So this is on the IKEA website is what I'm showing now. Second chance corner help give these items a second chance and a second home. As 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 is online is a new service that provides an even more affordable option for IKEA family members by allowing you to view and reserve gently used products online. As a family member, you will be able to browse your local store's collection of as is online. So I guess like can you um do you take it to an IKEA your stuff that you or something i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure well yeah i think that it's only in two locations right now right like madrid and oslo isn't that what it said it's only they're like it's kind of like in beta or something um I that's what i remembered reading. yeah that's what it said but this is just um this is a different article i'm on the i'm on the oh no well I'm on the English website. I don't know. Well, I'm on the IKEA website right now. Let's select the store. Yeah. Um, no, who knows? Maybe, maybe you do keep it. You know, kind of like Facebook. You keep it at your house, and you just, I don't know. Oh. I am. I'm going to pick the South Philly store. Um. Let's see if they have it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is use. No, this is just sales stuff, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, be on the lookout for it. So I thought, you know, that's good. That's a good. Um. I mean, if you have an IKEA nearby, do you have any IKEA close to you? Yeah, there is. There's a yeah. There's a huge one. I get. Are they all huge? I don't know. Yeah, Ours they're all huge. Ginormous. Yeah. There's ginormous. there's two there's one which is so weird. Every time we, we go to IKEA, Drew will always be like, why didn't they put one of these in Delaware where there's because we don't have sales tax? So there's one over oh. the line in there's one over the line in Maryland, that's farther away. Um mm-hmm. and then um there's one there's one in South Philly. And um, there is another one in um, uh, Conshohocken, which is outside of Philly. It's like suburb. Um, uh-huh. So, yeah. So, I mean, you know, not not far, but not not around the corner yeah. either. But Drew's always like, why didn't they put one of these? He's like, why are there two? <laughs> He likes to go. Oh. Sometimes we'll go to if we've been, we've gone to the South Philly one, but we usually go to the Conchaca one because we don't have to pay Philly sales tax, like city sales uh-huh. tax. Um, but uh, yeah, he was like, there wouldn't be any sales tax if they did it in Delaware. Why didn't they put this in Delaware? I'm like, I don't know. He's like, why'd they put two? They're they're fairly close to each other, you know. Um, uh huh. That is funny like this- though. Like there's a, a there's a reason you know mm-hmm. there's a squirrel in your room no there's like <laughs> um there's a squirrel outside i hear it on the roof <laughs> oh yeah 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 you hear the 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 scratching on the yeah. shingles <laughs> mm-hmm. like a scratching like a panda like a trash panda <laughs> <laughs> scratching like a trash panda let's see Speaking of, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, so wait, wait, is... wait! I think I have a. Wait, hold on, hold, hold on, hold oh, on. Oh yeah, play it, play it. <laughs> I already switched. Let me do it. 
Oh no, I can't wear a mask. It's, where's it? It's I not know. Working. Here it is. It does. Oh no, that's the wrong one. But see, I don't. I don't hear. I only. I can't hear them when we play them on Discord. I had to figure that out. And then the ones I was playing were too loud. I busted some eardrums. Sorry, sorry, friends. I wonder if busted it some was me hitting that too that did it, because I think I hit the Discord sound at the same time you did the that sound. So I, it made me wonder oh, which I don't know. sound it was, because I don't know. the sound that you were playing, I couldn't hear those sounds at all. But yeah, I gotta whatever. figure that out. It doesn't matter. I gotta figure that out. <laughs> So I also have to figure out how sell... to put comments at the top, but you know, we're, we're just, we'll figure look, that I got out. this, I got us this totally far. Figure that out. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So reseller of female reseller of the week is but trash panda flips. No trash, trash <laughs> panda thrift, right? Thrift. <laughs> yep. It's a Bethany. mouthful. Trash She's panda Bethany. thrift. So she has Instagram. <laughs> Which is how Amy knows mm -hmm. her from there. And then I, I looked up yeah. and um, she's one of Amy's favorites on Insta. And then um, yeah. she also has a YouTube, Trash Pandas Thrift. And she looks, I haven't yeah. watched any of her YouTube yet, but she looks like she has good stuff. Like, um, I'll read you. Uh, po popular videos, like she has keywords, the how to, you know, she keyword, you know, info. Um, a couple weeks ago, she had fall and winter bolos up. Um, yeah, so it looks like like she shops and talks about that stuff too. So that looks um, trending styles and keywords. So like clothes things, I guess you know. So awesome! Yeah. I'm the, I'm excited. The stuff to, that uh, I see, yeah, the stuff that I see on Instagram is her going to the bins. Mostly, at least those are the yeah. reels. And yeah, there's, clothes. there's she shows mostly clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she has yeah. she and has just some great bins and brands in her uh, thumbnails on here. She has like some bins. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she'll she'll because I like selling clothes and mm -hmm. I feel like I'm pretty knowledgeable on brands to look out for. Yeah. But mm -hmm. she will like throw up a brand that I had never heard of, so right. I just add yeah. that you know yeah. to my stuff. But uh -huh. yeah, she does. She does really well. Yeah. I guess if you're only exclusively selling clothes, then of course you're going to be more knowledgeable. But I'm an everything seller. But I do enjoy clothes. I, I like yeah. selling clothes. Well, you well, you sell a lot like of clothes. And you them, sold but... a lot of clothes first, right? I mean, you had... Yeah. That was like really where you went with first was clothes. Mm -hmm. So go check out Trash yeah, Pandas. That was before the... Yeah. Yes. On Instagram and YouTube. Mm -hmm. Trash Panda Thrift. Yes. That's a mouthful. <laughs> it's a cute name, though. Yeah, no, I, I like, like it. it. Uh -huh. I like it. Trash Panda. Mm-hmm. It's so cute. It's so cute. <laughs> and then, what was that other thing I sent you? That, um, that thrifting magazine? Or was it called Thrift? Thrift Magazine or Thrifting Magazine? It's one of those names, right? Yes, Which I had no on. idea that I'm they. Gonna... Yeah, I had no idea Thrift... that they made. Thrifting... I've never a magazine seen like that. I used to be such a magazine junkie. I love magazines. I don't get any anymore. You know, mm -hmm. they're so expensive. I wonder how much Thrifting oh, Magazine yeah. costs says uh thrifting magazine thrifting shopping tips and tricks furniture clothing kids books art best cities sustainability consignment vintage um estate sales antiques so i've has anybody ever seen this anywhere i don't think where would like you there's hardly like i don't even blah, 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 blah. you know you go into like a the grocery store yeah my brain isn't working yeah like a grocery store or the walmart or walgreens and they have some magazines but they aren't i've never seen this no i don't think i have either i wonder how There's long a, it'll last uh-huh 
I don't who like I don't even know how long it's been around, but it'd be interesting. I'm gonna look. Our Harris Teeter has a like a really like in my opinion, it's like a big section of magazines. I'm gonna look. Yeah. Next time yeah. I'm there and see if I can find uh-huh. it. You know, and I'm sure I'm gonna flip through it too because I'm sure Commonwealth Picker has uh has an ad in there somewhere. Like a perpetual <laughs> ad. <laughs> he knows about it, I'm sure. <laughs> Visit commonwealthpicker.com. <laughs> yeah. Things to thrift in Virginia. <laughs> Go see the Commonwealth. Picker, why Goodwill? Uh, why Goodwill <laughs> sucks, <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh, That's funny. I won't be saying that. I won't be saying Goodwill sucks. I like okay, going to the I, I outlet, won't either. The auction. But, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean that there's still, you know, I can still get stuff at Goodwill around here. But mm. I don't. I, yeah. I haven't found too much lately at the regular yeah. Goodwill. Just the, right, just the outlet, yeah. the outlet mm-hmm. auctions. But even that has been slim pickings. Good. I think because it's summer, it's just, you know. Yeah. I don't know. People aren't in well, like. I feel like people aren't in the. People are busy vacationing and enjoying outdoor life and not cleaning out their house and getting rid of stuff. Do you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's summer. I know. Uh, yeah, I did get. Uh, I went last night, which was mm-hmm. Tuesday night, and I did find. Mm-hmm. I got two uh, gay lord boxes, which. There wasn't much in it. Like we didn't film. There wasn't much. And <laughs> I know, but yeah, and I got this. <laughs> this is a Coleman well, catalytic move it, heater. Move it over a little bit in the middle. Yeah. What is now? it? Oh, uh, yeah. heater. It's, mm-hmm, it's a Coleman catalytic heater. It's from 1973. It's stamped on the bottom. Nice. And it's yeah. in good shape. Like yeah. I don't know if you can see it through the grate. But it still has the paperwork, like oh, it's wow. the instructions. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. So I I don't know if it was used or if it just needs like some cleaning. But yeah, this is super cool. I only paid yeah. I paid five dollars for this. This awesome. was um. What's it comp out like at? not in a. Uh, I don't know, sixty maybe Did, 50, 60? Was that was that just an auction item or was it in one of the Gaylords? It was, um, it was on, we call it the wall. It's, yeah. it's a wall mm-hmm. of shelves and they have yeah. those individual items. Yeah. Right. It was an individual item. Okay. And okay. nobody bid on it. Nobody so wanted I it? I got it for five bucks. Nice. I don't know why. Hmm. I'll take it. It's heavy. And Matt loves yeah. Coleman. We, we, oh, and, oh my mm-hmm. gosh, this weekend when we were yard sailing, we bought another Coleman I was going to have a jubat stove. Oh, I was going to say, did you buy a a camp stove? (laughs) No, we bought a lantern. But it's nice because, um, well, I I part them out all the time. Like the globe sell. um, Right. Uh They sell because people break them. But this one had Mm -hmm. the original case. It was like a yellow hard case. Mm -hmm. And I normally only see uh, them in black cases. They they like open up like a clamshell does. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but this one was yellow. It's really dingy. It was in his garage. I paid seven bucks for it. I think it was seven bucks. Wow. But my average cost of goods on Saturday was mm-hmm. like two dollars. So everything that's, that's good. what I do. I come yeah. home and I average it all out. <laughs> so yeah. So I've now I have eight Coleman globes. Eight I've sold the lantern the globes before. I I see them all the time at this one thrift store. Well, I haven't been there in a while, but I've seen them and I've bought them for like a dollar, two bucks or something. I've sold them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can, I've parted out the, um, the cap that goes where you pour the, uh, the propane, like the. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, uh-huh. I don't, I don't know if it's propane, but the ga- it's not gasoline, but I'll just say gas. The little right. cap for that. I've sold the handles, just the handle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I've sold the hat, like the um the hat, like the ventilated yeah, hat. The top, yeah. I've sold mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. I've sold the heat shield that's inside, uh, okay. like where the mantle is. Yeah. 
I've so, I've parted out <laughs> the whole thing. Like that's I'm no, serious. I need to um you know, I feel like mm -hmm. at like estate sales, like whenever they're in the picture, they're usually got like dudes like go right for them. Do you know what I mean? Probably that's why, because they can part yeah. them out. Um uh -huh. but yeah, like I said, I found the yeah. I found like the replacement globes and I've sold them. You know, so always look yeah. for that stuff there's guys. um heck yeah there are there's one globe that you really need to keep your eye on it is um well, i don't want to say it's like fluted but it kind of you know how fluted glass looks it's kind of like uh cloudy and then clear cloudy clear like all the way around okay i don't yeah. know if that's the word for it but those those are um those go for a lot of money just that globe um, yeah, I haven't found one yet. And then the hmm. logos, I don't know, like the, seen the one more one. vintage, the, the right. more vintage the right. logo mm -hmm. is. It's like a, sun, yeah. it almost looks like a sunrise, like a half sunrise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Those ones do really well. I mean, mm -hmm. I could go on. I could go on. <laughs> <Just 'cause laughs> we sell them so much. But yeah, and that's why. That's why we like picking them up because they sell. Mm -hmm. And this is the season. It's getting into fall and, you know, people are oh, yeah. camping. That's my favorite like that. time of year to camp well, fall. Yeah. So I know. It's exciting. It's exciting. Oh, I just got um <clears throat> I just got an offer on something from uh shopcommons.net. I listed I listed yesterday a lot of <clears throat> 24 K pop photo cards. They're like you know, like the little band members, but they're like, they look like they're, they're cards, not postcards, but like little cards, the size of a credit card. So they fit like in your wallet, like wallet size. I don't know. I listed them on comments. Somebody uh, sent an offer. I'll nice. probably accept it. Yeah. I had, I got a ton of them one time in one of our totes mm -hmm. at the Goodwill auction, yeah. ton, like mm -hmm. a ton of them. And they sell really well. Like in Asian countries, like mm -hmm. I don't know what they like. I, they, they must love like their individual singers or something. So I lotted a bunch of them up and I sold those really quick for I don't even know 70, 80 bucks or something like that. Um, and then nice. these were like some leftovers that I just didn't want to deal with. So I put right. them on right. um, Shop Commons. But I know there's uh -huh. some good value in, in them if they list them separately. So yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. I'm excited. Got some more stuff to put on there too. Wow. I and as I said, I was <laughs> after I packed everything from the weekend yesterday morning and I was like going through and getting stuff ready to I'm gonna take pictures later. Yesterday yeah. I was I said, I can't remember what it's I still can't remember. I was like, oh, this might be good if this isn't something that sells like well individually and maybe i'll put it on comments uh -huh. <laughs> remember what it was i'm i'm losing it i'm losing it <laughs> you should sing it today right when you go to list you can yeah when i go to say but i was like why can't i remember it it was just yesterday oh my goodness my brain isn't working oh, no you'll figure it out You'll figure it out. <laughs> You'll find it. Take a picture of it. And the listing, I know I'm like, oh, like promoting it. But the way the listing on Shop Commons is super mm -hmm. easy. Super easy. It's like mm -hmm. there's only like, you know, you put uh, a video in a picture or pictures, mm -hmm. the, the title, the description, which is can be easy. I always write the same thing. It's pre-owned C video, or if it's new C video, that's it. Yeah. That's all I put. And then you put the price and then the shipping, and then mm -hmm. you can like select a category and that's it. And then you post it like mm -hmm. you, you can really post and list something in two minutes. Like it's yeah. that easy to do. Mm -hmm. It's none of this like eBay stuff where you have to fill in all these like dimensions and all the you know, what is it called? Item specifics. There's none of that. I only put in what I absolutely need to. Same. On eBay. I do too. Because like, and like if people have weird stuff in there, I don't like, cause I usually, I 
99.9% of the time copy somebody's listing. Even if it's not exactly yeah, the same, same thing. If it's close, I plug it because it's easier that way. And then mm-hmm. if they have measurements or anything in there, I take them out because I, you know, I put pictures with measurements, so. Right. But, um, I know. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I hate, I hate that it has all that stuff. It's like so not some of it is so worthless like it's it's not um relevant to what you're selling at all i agree i agree it's such an antiquated platform they just Mm -hmm. they need Mm -hmm. to redo it like i know that's a lot of work they just do all of that but it's just you know, yeah. I, so I've said this before. I've, I'll say it again. Their like behind the scenes, their code must look. It must be just a nightmare because they, you know, because that how they change things, but they like the look hasn't changed. Like, and it's just like they put a new thing on top and it or a band aid. Do you know what I mean? Instead of like, we're gonna make this sleeker easier. It's not sleeker easier. It doesn't, I feel I like they need to polish the, I mean, they don't have to because they are it, right? You know, like nobody's coming right. and taking them. You know, McCartney's not taking over, Poshmark's not taking them over. But yeah. I just feel like, like you said, and their look is antiquated for sure, too. Like, uh, you know, bring it up to... I feel like it still looks like it did in 1999 or whatever, you know, <laughs> back in yeah. the day. I know. I, I, I feel like that, the, like their employees that are doing all that stuff are mm-hmm. the same ones that they hired in the 90s. And it's the <laughs> same people that are just growing the company and they're like not getting fresh like fresh young people in there to go hey we need to start doing this i mean obviously they do but you know because mm-hmm. they're doing like ebay lives or something like that but i just it it, it is i it's antiquated that's it's mm-hmm. just so yeah mm-hmm. it's a know. bear to go through and yeah. since we're on this subject let's talk about it. i was looking for something on ebay the other day and i know some of our friends feel that everybody shops by price, lowest to highest, because we do, right? Mm-hmm. Like everybody clicks mm-hmm. that thing. I don't think everybody does. It. I personally don't. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't always have my stuff's like my thing's not priced the highest, but it's not pri- I don't necessarily price my stuff the lowest, especially if I have something nice and good condition, whatever. Because I don't, yeah. think, I don't think everybody shops that way. Especially on eBay when it's so convoluted and it's like, you know, I know, I know people that wouldn't even, there's, there's plenty of people that are not tech savvy that wouldn't think to go through there and sort it by lowest price. Some people don't care. And, you know, I just, so anyway, I was looking for something. Here's the, here's the problem with sorting that way too is I was looking for something in particular. Um, I can't remember what I was looking for yesterday, but let's take like, if you're looking for like camera stuff, okay? So the last time I was looking, I bought a new camera thing and I was looking for the actual camera. If you go and put keywords, you know, the basic keywords in for the camera and sort lowest to highest, you're going to get 10 million little, um, you know, like tripod for this and the, and the screen protect, you're going to get all that stuff first. There's going to be pages and pages of that stuff first before you even see right. the lowest price camera. So it's yeah. such a slog to get through that. Like even, even pairing, you know, so I'll, I've done that a couple of times and I put more keywords and more keywords and it still does it narrow it down enough to just get the camera and not the accessories do you know what i'm saying and that happens for a lot of things yeah. that happens for a lot of things mm-hmm. yeah. so um i do 
think that a lot of savvy people do shop. You know, I, I'm always looking for the low, you know, I'm looking for the best condition, lowest price thing I'm shopping. But I don't think everybody's going to go through to the lengths <laughs> that, that some of us are. Do you know what I mean? Somebody is going to be fine yeah. with, you know, not saving the 10, 20 bucks and just finding what they want. That's just my two cents. How about this? My, my two this cents. This is how I look at it. When you shop, when you shop on Amazon, do mm -hmm. you shop lowest to highest price? Do you filter on Amazon? I don't filter, but I will look when I find the item I want. I'll look and see if there's any. You know, you gotta look over to the right uh -huh. and see if anybody's because. You know, if it's if it's a third if it's Amazon, you're probably getting a good price. If it's a lot of third party mm -hmm. sellers, um, there might be something. They don't have the buy box today, but they might have the lowest price, and there might be a. So you gotta like other available from other sellers for blah blah blah. You know. Right. Exactly. I so think that's how mm -hmm. people use ebay is the same way they use amazon because mm -hmm. yeah i mm -hmm. don't i i'm we're super thrifty and frugal mm -hmm. in our house too mm -hmm. but when i shop on amazon i don't filter i just type in what mm -hmm. it is i want and then i then the next thing i look at is the reviews like the, the stars because i i would rather buy from the one that has sixteen thousand stars than a mm -hmm. hundred stars do you know, right. mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but yeah, that's and, and then I time... will go down and and, look yeah, and I'll just yeah. go down and look for the cheaper, the cheapest mm -hmm. of the high stars, and that's right. how I do mm -hmm. it. And that's yeah, and that's me being super frugal too. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I just think that's how people use eBay as well. You know, similar. I don't think they're looking at the your feedback and stuff. I don't think people care about that on eBay. Do you? Because I don't look um, at feedback. When I buy something, well, I, like, I do. And I um, don't. Yeah, it depends. It depends. If I buy something like my, like I bought, but did I buy this camera? Or did I buy it off of Amazon? I can't remember now. But um, I will look at feedback because some of those like bigger stores, like just look and make sure that they're not. I did buy this off eBay. You know why? Because I bought it from another seller first. And what I was ticked off. Do If you're buying some, like a high dollar thing, I suggest looking at feedback. Now, I bought it from a seller yeah, yeah, yeah. and I should have looked at feedback. They, they canceled on me. Like within the, the shipping window, but they mm -hmm. canceled and were like, oh, we don't have it in stock. I'm like, why do you have it up? You know, because it's one yeah. of those big things. And if if you kind of page through the feedback, they they do that. But you, but again, that's like a chore. Like you'd have to go through because they have like thousands of feedback. You know, uh -huh. so yeah. so it's a chore to like kind of go through and slog through that. But so I was kind of ticked off at that. But um, I bought it from somebody else on there, and it was fine. Yeah, but that's few and far between. I'm not looking. I mean, you're not on there if you got terrible, terrible feedback, usually. So, uh. yeah. Yeah, I, I guess I do look at feedback depending on the, I, I guess I do, but I don't like filter through feedback first. No, you that's know what a, I mean? no, like no, Amazon. no, no. You're, yeah. you're going to see that, oh, they're 98%. Oh, that's fine by me, you know, because like, especially when you're selling, yeah. you know that there's usually some people that are. You know, pains in the butts. But um, I'm gonna say on yeah. on Amazon, yeah, I, the only I time will, I will. Mm -hmm. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, you go finish the on eBay. Amazon what? No, fin you finish. Oh, I was just gonna say, I I will look. I will just glance to see if they have feedback. Like if they have less than like twenty, I yeah. won't buy from that person. Mm -hmm. Which is bad because we should be supporting people that are you know trying to start a business <laughs> and you know. Stuff like I don't that. know if I if I do that, but um, as long as they have good feedback, I'm okay. You know. Yeah. 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 But I don't like, it's it's like, like you said. I don't slog through their feedback to. 
if I had done it for that first seller by this camera, I, I would have seen, because I did look at it afterward, that they they do this, that they sometimes put stuff up that they don't have in stock and, you know, canceled order or whatever. I didn't even bother leaving feedback, but, um, you know, I don't want to slog through feedback. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah. I, I have bought, I don't know. I feel like maybe I should, well, whatever. I have bought shipping supplies from supply hut on ebay twice on f from ebay and mm -hmm. both times they were never shipped to me i never got them the I don't first think i've time, ever bought something uh, from supply hut. yeah this was like before it was like before you know commonwealth picker before you know, was it before his, um um bubble gate before bubble gate oh yeah this was like you know you know before that like you know yeah people would Way just before. buy shipping supplies and it typically was right. from supply hut because they have the most but mm -hmm. um i had bought one time i bought it it was never shipped and i had to message them and they canceled and then the second time i was like oh i, I really want this size box and i can't find it so i yeah. bought from them again on ebay and they shipped it they had, they, you know, there was a tracking number mm -hmm. and I kept following the tracking number because I had that problem before and nothing, yeah. nothing ever came through. I had to message them and I was like, hi, I see there's a, a, a shipping label was printed, mm -hmm. but the item has, hasn't been shipped. Right. And I had to cancel that order too. I was kind of bummed. I have yeah. bought, I have bought from Supply Hut, um, but I go from their, their website, like straight from the website, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I went straight to the website and bought it because I just yeah. thought, <laughs> you know, they, they have some good, their boxes are like a little thinner, but mm -hmm. if they're the smaller boxes, I don't care. Yeah. But, um, mm -hmm. There are some boxes that I really like from theirs, but that's the only person that I've, you know, had problems with problem. on eBay that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I guess I understand because they do, you know, they have a high demand place, company, business, you know? Yeah, but, it's like somebody's printing out yeah. their 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 shipping labels and exactly. like what are they doing with them? Putting them in a pile somewhere from eBay exactly. and not and not doing it. Like get your get your act together. That's what I couldn't <laughs> figure out. Mm -hmm. And and then I thought, you know, you can't do you cancel your shipping label? After that, I, I don't understand. I thought you had like a certain amount of time to cancel a shipping label. You know, like if you don't use that shipping label and you cancel it, like, you know, yeah. when we do it yeah, on I think eBay, you do, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How long do you have? Or do businesses have like an extended time to cancel their shipping labels? How does yeah, that work? Is it a write off? My ADHD is kicking in. I have so many <laughs> questions. <laughs> how does that work i need to know <laughs> i don't yeah. know I, um... and my eye it wants to water mo <laughs> oh there was so much dust last night at the goodwill um outlet because i think they were bringing in um gay lords that were um like in the back and that had been just stored mm -hmm. and i think we were just like you know churning up dust that my eye is like bothering me so if it's red <laughs> you know sorry <laughs> the, um yeah so oh, how man. do you how do you guys shop do you always do you always look for the lowest price I, I feel like pulling a bunch of sellers though or people that shop a lot online is there's too much bias because that's yeah because we know how it works and so we're gonna do it that way but just your average yeah. joe that's looking for something is not gonna go to the lengths you know i think i get yeah. a lot of sales sometimes from so i do you promote i promote i promote everything at like a certain rate and uh -huh. right. i think you know because your promoted stuff will like show up in a, like a Google search or something. So I think some of my weirder mm -hmm. things, I think that, you know, sometimes that's how they, they go from promoted. Yeah. So 
um, you know, because they see that the at the top. Words. I think, mm -hmm. yeah, I think using the the good keywords yeah. is what sells. Oh yeah, absolutely. I sell brass. Mm -hmm. I sell brass all the time. Mm -hmm. Like, and I swear, it's because I'm using the keywords that. I think that people are searching for, you know, mm -hmm. like when I find like ornate brass, I always mm -hmm. use uh, Hollywood Regency mm -hmm. or like mm -hmm. French. Yeah, um, French. You know, I use, I use, mm -hmm. I, yeah, I, yeah. I'll, sometimes I'll just put Regency, mm -hmm. French, mm -hmm. classic. Um, I'll put MCM, Boho, Rustic, mm -hmm. you know, if it's, yeah. you know. If it goes yeah. with it, but mm -hmm. all the stuff that oh, I put help you. Mm -hmm. in yeah. sells, mm -hmm. all of it. I just yeah. sold a frame if you put, this weekend. So if you're the only one using that, or if you're one of the only few using that, and somebody is searching that, that's going to come up first. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, there could be other ones like yours out yeah. there, and people aren't buying them that could be cheaper. Do you know what I'm saying? So I, that's why. Also, uh -huh. the keyword thing, because I I just don't think that your normal layman shoppers go to the lengths that we did <laughs> to find a, yeah. you know, a bargain or something. Mm -hmm. um, even in this economy. Yeah. I mean, cause yeah. that's, a, they, that's they a, want... yeah. so that's a chunk out of your time out of your day. If you just, you know, if you're looking for something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Just like just like Amazon. That's what I mm -hmm. think everyone wants Amazon results, Amazon free shipping. Right. Because <laughs> Well, I ha I know. we have we have Prime. So I that I was going to say that is the only filter I'll sometimes use on Amazon is just show me the Prime stuff cuz I don't, you know. Yeah. If it's something Same. new like something I don't necessarily bother with somebody who's doing fulfilled by you know fbm or whatever fulfilled by merchant yeah i don't want to pay your shipping <laughs> but uh that's the only which is so bad which is so bad because every time i list something big you know that's gonna mm -hmm. it's got some weight to it like this thing mm -hmm. right here that catalytic yeah. thing uh -huh. like the shipping is gonna be a lot unless you live oh, near yeah. me and uh -huh. it's it, it, it always surprises me when people are paying a lot for shipping still you know, like, oh, yeah. cause in I my know. mind, because we're so frugal, you yeah. know, I'm like, oh, there's no way I would pay $50 shipping, but mm -hmm. it's, it is, it still blows it my is. mind sometimes. Yeah, I know. I get, like certain orders, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, know. I, it's amazing. yeah, some, they, they paid that, that, uh, Mary's, uh, figure, you know, stat, well, I don't know, statue, but she wasn't a figurine, she's, you know. That Bradford thing I sold mm -hmm. this weekend. They like I forget where it went. I want to say they almost paid like twenty bucks in shipping because it it cost me. I I want to say like sixteen bucks or something to ship because it was long, uh -huh. you know. Yeah, it was long. But I want to say they paid like about twenty dollars to ship it. So they paid you know almost a hundred dollars for that. Yeah. Or what was that thing I? I sold something to an international buyer. I can't remember mm -hmm. what it was now, but th I remember saying that their VAT, what is it called, VAT tax or something, mm -hmm. just their VAT was like 50 bucks or something like that. But Crazy. I, I can't remember. I can't. Do you remember me talking about that? I think point? so, yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, I can't remember what it was now that I sold, but it was, it was expensive plus the shipping plus that VAT tax fee that they That's paid crazy. was outrageous yeah. they paid over two it was something that was over two hundred dollars but wow I, yeah i'm yeah that always blows my mind too that's like that and now and that's like i feel like if i lived overseas like that would drive me nuts like because as as an american you know we're gonna you know we're not paying all that to get something from overseas you yeah. know Ooh. Yeah. That's crazy. I do want to discuss, maybe not today, but I do want to discuss Amazon's international, uh, Amazon, <laughs> eBay. 
<laughs> their uh, uh-huh. whatever they call their international shipping program now because before they changed it, I sold at least one thing a week overseas. I have sold huh. since they've changed it one thing overseas. I don't understand. Really? I don't understand. Like huh. I don't I've turned it off and turned it back on again. <laughs> that didn't help. I don't huh. I, I'm like why? And it's like um like nothing's dip, like nothing's changed. I didn't change anything, but I'm telling I was selling one at least one thing a week overseas. And I have sold one. Wow. I don't understand. And I keep hearing, oh, I, I sold this overseas. And I, you know, you guys always talk about it. And I'm like, I I sell nothing overseas anymore. They don't see my stuff. I'm 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 blocked. I don't know. So anybody have any uh, yeah. Anybody have any uh tips on that? I mean, I'm in the program. And like I said, I I mm-hmm. I got out of the program, and then I put them back in the program. I don't you know. know. I I haven't. I don't know. I haven't noticed a decline in mine. So I. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. If you're still Same. selling stuff, I mean, I went from selling stuff to yeah. not selling anything. I remember because where do they go now? I used to ship it to Kentucky, and now it's not Kentucky; it's somewhere else. But somewhere in the middle there, right? Sure. So like Indiana well, or something, I think Illinois. Chicago. Yeah. Yeah. So I, think I mean, Illinois it's still is where it's, mine goes. Yeah, I want to say it's Illinois because that was like the one thing I sold, and I sent it to Illinois. Nothing. Mm-hmm. I and it's. It's sticking in my craw. It'll my it'll craw. happen now. This we're gonna well maybe talking about that. it. Put it out there. <laughs> yeah, put it out there. So I'm gonna I'm gonna write that down to see if you had a uh, international. <laughs> yeah, I'll let you know. I'll let you know before before next week. International mm-hmm. question mark. That's what I put. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh man. Well, I don't know. Um, is it is it wrap up time? I think so. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. Might I can't as well be anyway. We started. <laughs> I have well, a timer forget. on here, but I put it on before we started, so I'm... it's my yeah. fault. Don't forget to follow us yeah. on Apple, Amazon, Apple Podcasts, Amazon Podcasts, Spotify. And some other places mm-hmm. that usually filters out yeah. to other places, but I don't know. If you have a, if if you listen on some weird platform, let me know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, like somebody's going to be like, I listen on this. Please put it on here. Oh yes, <laughs> <laughs> sure. I listen on podcast addict, <laughs> but it gets filtered through. You know. Today. Yeah, I and I have it on the podcast app that it filters down to although i might have made sure it filtered yeah. it just because i so i can see it um uh-huh. yeah so anybody yeah, leave us a comment for sure about do you sell international how many a week do you sell yeah for sure and then um follow me on youtube i'm gonna be putting out a video soon like actually Yay! tomorrow i know tonight <laughs> oh, wednesday night and I forgot. I wanted to say something. Yeah, go ahead. When when are you putting it out tonight? So, Today's Wednesday, right? Yeah. Tonight. It'll be out Wednesday night. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it'll already be yeah. out by the time you see this. So go back, if you haven't, and watch Amy's video. And someday I'll put out another video again. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. So with that, no, no, we're wait, wait. out. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Oh. We can't flip out. Pause. Pause. We can't flip I out. wanted to give a congratulations to our good friend ABC Matt. He got a thousand followers on his channel. Oops. Yeah. Oh, I didn't want that That's screen. Awesome. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Drifting. <laughs> I meant to pull him up. <laughs> yeah, but, um, he hit a thousand subs on yes. I think like two days ago. Yesterday, probably a couple days ago. Yeah. So he's going to do some um, giveaways and he's going to eat a bug. 
That's all I know. <laughs> a beetle or something. Well, we I think that's what he's really... doing. Well, I know he will because he eats weird stuff. Because yeah. so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so, so go Matt. over, follow <laughs> ABC Matt, give him a congratulations, and follow him if you don't already. Um, yeah. Yes. Okay, now, now you can do it. Now, <laughs> now we're flipping out. <laughs> Bye. Bye.